Apple is doing even more to help you protect your battery life and battery health with iOS 26. Here's how. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. Apple is set to release iOS 26 this fall, and currently it's in developer-only beta testing. That said, a public beta will soon be launching in July. Either way, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of all the new battery and charging features ahead of the launch. And these are on top of the ones Apple already offers, like low power mode, optimized charging, and charging limits. Apple delivered one of my most requested features with iOS 26. Estimated time until your phone is done charging. When you plug in your phone or attach it to a MagSafe charger, you see a little message above the time that shows your current percentage and an estimate until it's charged. It may take a moment just to calculate the speeds. If it'll take less than an hour, you'll get that estimate in minutes. But if it'll take more than an hour, you'll just get a general assertion that it'll be more than an hour to finish. Apple also lets you know to what percentage it will be charging. If you have the battery limiter on, it'll show on that screen. Many just charge to 80, which is what mine generally shows. Aside from the lock screen, you can see this battery charging indicator and estimate in the settings too. Personally, I hope that Apple adds this battery charging information into the widget too, so that I can see it visibly while in standby mode. Would you use that as a standby mode widget? Let me know down below in the comments. This feature is similar to another feature Apple just added for AirPods too. There's a new charging notification toggle for AirPods. You'll get a preemptive alert when your AirPods are low, then that they need charged. And then you'll get another alert when they are fully charged. That's just one of a number of new features for AirPods and AirPods Pro. If you want to learn more about them, you can check out the video that I've linked here. Aside from how long it will take to charge, this new lock screen indicator can alert you if you have a slow charger. If you've ever plugged it in and wondered why your phone is barely inching up, this could be why. You'll see a warning that a slow charger is connected. Can I show you a little behind the scenes magic? When filming, I need to make sure my iPhone looks pristine. I get so many comments if there is even as much as a scratch on it. So I always use a screen protector to protect it from keys and other things that may make contact with it, whether on my desk, in my pocket. Last time though, I picked up a super cheap one. Look at this thing. Like it's literally breaking off pieces of glass and stabbing me. It was fortuitous that ESR wanted to sponsor this video to promote their latest UltraFit glass screen protectors. They can literally be installed in under 10 seconds. I used to be the person people came to to install screen protectors because they were so hard. Not anymore. Just slip in your phone, pull the tab, and you're good. It even removes the dust for you. They are ultra strong, repel water for a perfectly smooth surface, and so clear you'll barely even notice it's there. I may not often use cases, but I cannot go without a screen protector. The screens just scratch too easily, which really hurts that resale value. Plus, the UltraFit screen protector is available for iPad models as well. Try the ESR UltraFit screen protectors for yourself, get three in a box, and they're linked in the description. Next new battery feature is an indicator when battery charging is on hold. Instead of being green with a lightning bolt, the battery icon will turn gray with a lightning bolt. Battery charging can be on hold for various reasons, including heat. When you go into the battery settings, it will say explicitly that it is on hold and why, like if the temperature is just too high. The visibility Apple is adding here is so handy and I'm just shocked that it took them this long to do so. Now we have adaptive power. This is a new power mode that your phone can go into alongside low power mode. Currently, you have to enable it in settings by visiting battery, power mode, and toggling it on. Low power mode can be activated from control center, and I hope that Apple puts a similar toggle for adaptive power mode there too. So what is adaptive power mode? Basically, its goal is to help extend your daily battery life. It'll automatically make adjustments to your phone on the fly to help prolong the battery. Apple says it will automatically lower the display brightness or allow tasks to take longer to complete. And it even says it'll automatically turn on low power mode when your phone hits 20%. I think this is super smart and it feels like a less aggressive version of low power mode. 
to a smaller extent, I do like that Apple is now allowing widgets inside a CarPlay now. That means you can turn on the battery widget and see your phone, AirPods, Apple Watch, all on the car's dash. To wrap this up, I want to get a little speculative with a little information that I've been able to learn. It's about Qi 2.2. For those of you that don't know, Qi 2 is actually based on Apple's MagSafe tech. Well, Qi 2.2 is coming next with speeds up to 50 watts. I've heard that iPhone 16 series already supports Qi 2.2 with up to 25 watts of power, which is kind of what we've seen on Apple's first party MagSafe buck. But now this will include third party chargers too, and not just Apple's. Apple also plans to enable Qi 2.2 support on iPhone 13, 14, and 15 via a software update, though I don't necessarily think that the charging speeds will increase beyond what they are now. We've even seen leaked Apple components for an upcoming Qi 2.2 charger, uh, basically just a new version of these that'll support Qi 2.2 with up to 45 watts of power. So I find this charging tech super fascinating, and I'm really excited to see new, faster, third-party chargers coming to market as well. So that's it. Those are all the new battery and charging features arriving as part of iOS 26. Let me know which of these you like most and what other ones you'd like to see. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video.